Start recording. You guys should be able to see now. Alright. Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Dungeons 2. Uh, thank you to Calypso Media for sending this to me. So it looks like uh, basic options are super basic. Eh, I don't care. I don't know why it's giving me uh, controls if I was using a controller, but still. That's not a big deal either. So we've got... Oh, these running. Should be fine, single player. Uh, campaign mode. We might as well go through. I have never played a Dungeons game before. In fact, I've never even played a Dungeons Keeper style of game. So, this is actually going to be wildly new territory for me, and I'm kind of looking forward to it. So, the Battle of the King's Ending. It was time. The troops of the Absolute Evil had driven the Alliance back to their capital, King's Ending. The, the time for the final battle had arrived, prepared to destroy the Alliance, and with it, all good in the land, once and for all. Well, let's go for play. Once upon a time, there was... A kingdom full of flowers and rainbows, where the sun shone all the time and there was loads of that goody, goody, lovey, dovey, good people stuff going on. Oh, God there, damn it. The alliance of abominably good people lived in unearned wealth and prosperity. But there was a path leading to a different place there. At the end of this path was a rock. There was a cave carved in this rock, in which the absolute evil lived. It wasn't a grubby, damp cave smelling of muck and mildew, but a deep, dark dungeon. So dark, that even darkness itself was afraid of it. It was home to numerous innocent monsters, who enjoyed a happy, contented <laughs> existence, living in complete yes. with their environment. But time and again, the sickening, sweet-smelling good visited this underworld in search of treasure and experience points. Many monsters found this to be the death of them, but much worse, the absolute evil's treasures were being stolen. One day, just as a few more heroes had finished plundering its dungeon, the absolute evil decided it had had enough, and decided to do something new, something quite monstrous. Go to the surface. The Alliance tried to resist, but the approaching horde just flowed over them like an angry wave of axes, teeth, and bad breath. After numerous unrelenting battles, the absolute evil finally stood before the Alliance's capital, King's Ending. <laughs> <laughs> Unicorn porn. Wonder your bet. Your. <laughs> it's not called unicorn porn, guys. It's called clop. Trust me. My roommate was a brony. Actually, no, he had, had nothing to do with clop. He was actually kind of angry at its existence. All right. This After why is this frame rate so bad? The forces of the absolute evil reached the alliance capital. The king's <laughs> The laughable remnants of the forces of good had come here to make ready for the final battle. Evil would pay a high price indeed to storm those fortress walls. Or so they thought. <laughs> Suddenly, a rumble rose from deep within the earth. Stones burst asunder, revealing an ancient path into the depths. Out of the depths of Stygian darkness arises the invincible evil. With earth-shaking steps, the unstoppable evil began its trek towards the front. In the terribly improbable event that it may have forgotten how that works, a formidable help function has been provided. Well, let's see how this goes. Either way, this is very not what I'm used to. Or what I was expecting. I was expecting I'd do dungeon stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep messing with this. Let's, uh, let's just drop it down to medium. See what happens. Take off Bloom because fuck Bloom. The there we go. The no, I don't even know. Seems like this game isn't the most op itself. optimized. Grass withered, and in places the ground tore open to reveal bubbling lava. Okay, so it looks like it looks like everything just gets evil around me. Perfect. All right. Fuck your landscape. Let's just keep trolling through here. This is actually really. Even the forest could not withstand the aura. I am an extreme landscaper. A few of the Alliance units had entrenched themselves here. 
A determined, absolute evil marched towards them in order to strike them down with its mighty weapon. This is... Can I, can I go down here? Do I just... Nope. Oh, I see. Gotta pick up the badge? This does not feel like the Dungeon Keeper I was expecting. These legendary awards ensured a creature could be made even more You know what? I need to do something here. Sound. Effects volume. Like, 30%. Music. 69%. Perfect! Alright. Maybe we can hear him now. There we go. evil gazed upon the blood-drenched battlefield. Here, the last defenders of good would die, and an age of evil would begin. Projectiles from the Alliance's catapults darkened the sky, but the Horde's fighting skills were at their best in darkness, if they survived. Do I have anything else I can do? Can I? Oh, I gotta research my spike wave. So Absolute I've got... evil strode like a war god through the defenders' ranks and smote them with ease to the ground. Oh, this is easy enough. I guess this is a tutorial. Absolute evil destroyed the defenders' camp in the east with the greatest of ease. Now, only one tiny camp offers any resistance to the absurdly evil evil. And even that won't be able to hold out for much longer. That lady probably should put on some clothes before fighting me. I don't look like a friendly person, to say the least. Do I get, like, friends or anything like that? I, I'm just literally walking over them. And they're dying. Oh, no, they're not. Like, you know, they just die, like, super, super pro prostate. And the like, they just... Took yet another hero to the slaughtering block. That... Do I not get to convert their area over? No. Oh, I see. I gotta mess up their tent. Okay, that makes sense. I'm loving the, the cartoony graphics. Destroyed the defenders camp in the west with the greatest of ease. The defenders in front of the city had been beaten to a pulp and defeated. Now the time had come to attack King's Ending. The final battle beckoned. I think I'm just running around by myself. I don't even have friends. It's like fuck it. Let's just roll in. You know, this the guy doesn't even... was firmly barricaded by the Alliance's archers, but the absolute evil would not allow itself to be held up by such ridiculous impediment. So, go get them! Destroy them now! Ha 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 ha! Oh yes, sorry. Stay in character. <clears throat> the absolute evil used its all-powerful magic to eliminate the archers and open the gate to the city. Oh, I see. I... did I miss? Oh, take care of the archers. Okay, so these guys. That makes sense. I get the feeling that narrator is Using not going to shut up. Elite damage. It, Course. God damn it. The absolute evil destroyed the impediment with ease and simultaneously eliminated a whole group of defenders. True story. The road to the capital was now clear. The absolute evil did not hesitate for even one nanosecond. These references might get on my the nerves. Insidious evil entered King's Ending. A small, pitiful group of defenders stood in its way. Suddenly, the doors of several houses in the city opened, and with a loud roar, defenders bore down on the rather surprised evil. An ambush. I don't know if I'm going to be doing more talking in this episode, or if he's going to be doing more talking. Well, the fuck your castle. The evil had crushed the defenders. King's ending had been defeated. At least, that's what it thought. Suddenly, the final heroes of the Alliance emerged from nowhere. Another ambush? Now, this would... But wait. This time it was different. Instead, the heroes raised their hands and started singing an incomprehensible chant. A magical ritual? This did not bode well. Well, actually, it bode the arrival of good things, great things, unless you happen to be the absolute evil. Victory! Probably gonna die. All right. Uh, new hope. What? Did what? Okay. Somewhere in the depths of the dungeon, the ultimate evil awoke. It did not know what had happened, nor why it had awoken, but it longed for revenge. Play!
The last sort of, remaining maybe? heroes of the country joined forces and cast a powerful banishment spell. The absolute evil disappeared from sight with a threatening gesture, and a faint whispered, I'll be there, could be heard. The absolute evil had been banished, and its essence shattered into several pieces. Its reign of terror had ended. The good people of the overworld rejoiced, and an era of peace began for the Alliance. The evil creatures were driven back into the underground, doomed to serve as cannon fodder for pleasure-seeking adventurers. Meanwhile, secreted away in the world's most inaccessible places, the last remains of the absolute evil were resting, never again to see the light of the <laughs> evil world. Ring of... Until ah, the one ring to rule them all, that's cute. Somewhere deep under the earth, the ultimate evil awoke. <laughs> that face! Okay, unless you have researched a hospital, your creatures will be decimated rather quickly when they are defeated. Oh, I see. That means they'll and just the hand be permanent dead. Arose, controlled by the ultimate evil. Oh, let me guess. This is going to be my mouse cursor. Come on, hand of terror. Arise, damn you! Methinks that exploring the surrounding area would be a sensible strategy. However, to do this, Light would be required. Hmm. Still not bright enough. An old throne room was revealed by the light. The circumstances remained a mystery. The hand of terror flew through the throne room, following each and every thought the ultimate evil had. After a few flying sessions, the ultimate evil was able to control the hand with ease. The time had come to call forth creatures who were completely devoted to it and would do its dirty work. Little snots were the dregs of each and every dungeon and spent their time taking care of it. The expansion mad evil hired one snot on the spot. How do? Oh, here we go. None of gold. Can I can I pick this up? Where do where do I drop gold? Where where do put? Do I put gold there? After very careful consideration, the ultimate evil now decided to recruit a little snot. All right. Now how how do? Still not enough gold. How 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 do gold? Do I just clonk it there? Throne room. This part Needs a little bit of, a bit of explaining. It says not enough gold. Where do I put said gold? Feels like there's going to be a uh, Facebook game. I don't know. Maybe? The mentally somewhat challenged evil apparently was having a few problems focusing on the current task at hand. But then suddenly, the moment came when it hired a little snot. Is that enough? Do I have gold now? Oh, it's the because I moved it. Snot appeared. It was completely ready to work in the dungeon and to crawl in the dust before the ultimate evil. Little snots were important to the ultimate evil because they took care of many important little things, such as excavating new areas. The psionically gifted evil could sense the presence of something important that was buried to the south. It instructed its little snots to dig in that direction. Oh man, this is awesome. There's actually physics into like how I fling this guy around. It's not much. But it does actually take the, the like, uh, stimuli of, like, which direction I'm throwing him. Alright, so we want, we want him to dig this way, right? Alright, uh, let's see, so can I demolish? The demolish! No. still nope. didn't know what they were meant to be doing. At last, the Hand of Terror marked the area to be excavated. I do not know what I'm doing here. We go back. As quick as a oh, there we go. The little snot made his way to the marked position and began to dig. So here's the problem. This game doesn't actually explain some things, so the fact that I moved the gold... Trying to, like, move it around? Like, trying to move Behold, the gold around and... The creatures of the overjoyed evil had apparently been much more industrious than it had thought. A great dungeon was revealed behind the wall. Everything was already in place. Doors, traps, a well-filled treasury... Oh, wait. Treasury? And where, if you please, is this 
treasury. Oh, oh well. One can't expect too much of these mindless little snots. First of all, some gold had to be dug out to make space for a treasury to be created. The Hand of Terror swiftly marked a few small gold veins so that the little snots could excavate them. Let's see. Unfortunately, this game doesn't do like a whole lot of tutorial-y type stuff, which is kind of annoying, actually. It's just like, all right, here's the stuff that you should be doing. Oh, I see. These ones. As soon well, as the gold makes sense. was selected, a little snot immediately set out to mine valuable gold for the greedy evil. I like this. <laughs> Wanted by the minion prays for you and you repay them by slapping them. Those little snobs dug up a spider's nest, thereby preempting some of my stories. Since there were no powerful fighting units in the dungeon, it was advisable for everyone to keep very, very still for the time being. Oh, you don't go that way. Are these spider's nests bad? Uh oh. Oh, he's just carrying the gold. Okay, so these spiders, I don't think I can control them. Nope. Don't do that. I like the fact that you can actually, like, go past him by being by being overzealous here. That's cute. Especially that he gets a little bit uh, indignant. That's well done. Yeah, you can to toss them. I love the fact that you can take... Oh, they're all named. We've got Snops. We've got Snuddle. Can I rename you? Nope. Well, let's just plunk him out on the ground. But yeah, so, uh, like I was saying, I've never actually played, like, a Dungeon Keeper type game. Uh, game commented on my sequence breaking. It's like the first game that I think has ever called me out on Once it either. Once the gold had been mined, the Hand of Terror quickly created a treasury on the spot so that the precious metal could be safely stored. Hello. Lucky finder, what do I do with this? Do I bring it over here or something? So I'll just put it here for the time being. I don't know. Okay, so I want to build. You guys are all just focused on everything else. Oh well, it's not a big deal. But um, yeah, like I said, I never actually got into any of the Dungeon Keeper games. It, they went way over my radar when I was younger. You guys are. Did I just not mark that one? All right. Well, we don't want to fill. We want to rooms, treasury. Well, let's just treasury everything up. The clever can... evil mastered this task with flying colors. From now on, little snots could use the treasury to store mined gold. It was then at the greedy evil's disposal whenever more rooms needed... Oh! This is how you get the tutorial. If you find a bandage in your dungeon, you can pick it up with a hand of terror and drop it on a monster to give it to it. Okay. Built or new creatures recruited. Little snots were all well and good, but were too weak and cowardly to defend the dungeon. Since it was not able to defend itself, the ultimate evil would have to hire some orcs. But they would require food. Liquid food. Well, beer to be precise. So the next important thing to build was a brewery. And that would require some space to be created. The ultimate evil had the feeling that its servants were not really putting their backs into the work. Might a hearty slap from the hand of terror change that? The sadistic evil encouraged its creature to work a little faster, with a friendly but not at all gentle slap. Are you dumb? You're dumb. Okay, so what do we want to do? So we don't we don't want to build a treasury. Let's build another room. Can I not build a brewery? Oh, clear an area. Oh, which area are we supposed to clear out? I don't even know. Let's clear this area out. Might as well. I don't exactly know how big a brewery has to be, but eh, this should be easy enough. <laughs> pimp slaps. Keep my pimp hand strong. What is this thing? I don't even know what this is. Oh, well. Is this a big enough area for you, Mr. Mr. Annoying Ass Narrator? Okay, so that, that's still going on. Let's undo that for the time being. However, <laughs> the absurd evil was still hesitating. Alcohol? Consumed and... Alright, so whacking units. Know that one. Build a room. Oh, hello. Apparently Wouldn't you can increase the crime rate. Of click and drag? Alright, let's just make it bigger. I don't know how big the brewery is gonna have to be. 
Because all they can build is the treasury right now, and you're not exactly being super forthcoming with this. Let's try the next one. Types of gold. Uh, let's see. Gold veins, rich gold veins. Oh, the big one is uh, the rich gold vein. Small amount of gold each time. Uh, excavations. Okay, we know that. Oh, it's the marked area. Oh, it's the marked area. Well, I'm a dingleheim. Let's just undo that for the time being. I did not see that. I did not see that in the slightest, and whoops. Oh. <laughs> I am blind. Like I said, though, I've never done this before. Like, this... Like, I'm usually fairly... Fairly well-versed in, like, how to play games. This is the sort of thing I have no experience in. So this is, like, pure blind of, like, ultra blind. First time I've ever done a dungeon type game. I like that thing just going on over here. I'm also happy that the frame rate has finally gone up from 20. It looks like the very first part where you're actually running around doing um Warcraft 3 the style area stuff. The brewery had still not been excavated. Apparently a certain player, oh, apologies, I mean a certain ultimate evil has not been in a position to dig out those few tiles. Now get going, chop chop chop. There was now an area cleared for the brewery site. And with quick finger snaps from the hand of terror, the room stood ready. Excellent. But the recently built brewery lacked a brewing copper. With a sigh of resignation, the overworked evil set about taking care of that too. What's a brew kettle into the brewery? How do you guys come back, clear this out? Because apparently I can't put this in the middle of the brewery, so I guess I'll have to put it here? And they're they're handling uh handling the other stuff. Smack smack. Smack smack to everybody. Go faster. Alright, there we go. But the game is totally sassing me. I'm in, I'm enjoying the fact that the game is sassing me just because it's like, alright. Yep, there we go. Oh, I see why I can't put it in. Here we've got rooms. Where's the where's the broom bro, bro, what? How do I put the brewy thing in here? Population. Oh, nope, those are the little snots. Hey, a little snot. We know about this. Is it down here? Nope, those are the spiders. Do I have, like, a thing that I can actually put in here? Because I, I... What? Brew kettle. Alright. Excuse me while I find out where this brew kettle is located. That you have not told me where it is. In any, way, in any way, shape, or form. It's got, like... I've got an exclamation mark, like, right here. Can I, like, rotate the camera? I cannot rotate the camera. Is there any... Oh. There we go. The hard-working evil effortlessly built a brewing copper so the delicious beer could be brewed as soon as possible. One of the little snots started working on the brewing copper. The nostalgic evil banished all... Let's see, you can see how efficient they are. Room is surrounded by walls. Been upgraded. Okay. You can have efficiency above 100%. Those would have to wait. More important tasks had to be completed first. Both beer and gold were now available in the dungeon. So it was time to hire some creatures to defend against greedy heroes or whatever else snuck around underground. At present, it was only simple orcs declaring undying loyalty to the ultimate evil. The rest of the horde was scattered to the winds. So we got the booze now. Zero out of five orcs. What to do with orcs? How do... Oh, right. You can click out of this? No? Can I, like, hire orcs somehow? Zero out of five orcs. Uh, there's usually... Oh, it's this thing. There we go. I was wondering about that. Were defensive close combat specialists, capable of dealing with many opponents. However, they were very vulnerable to ranged attacks. Up, oh, see you, Grove. Have a good one. Okay, so this is the summoning portal. Like, I really wish they went over the basics. I, I think this game assumes a little bit too much that you know what you're doing. Payday. An eerie gong rang through the halls. It did not bode well for the ultimate evil's treasury stocks. For at each sounding of the gong, the creatures would collect their undeserved wages. However, there was little it could do about this, as it was chained to the throne. 
Thus, it had to give free rein to its servants' desires. For the time being, at least. Okay, this makes sense. This must be population points. Okay. I'm definitely enjoying this. I'm... Oh, the orc... The orcs will actually help you, uh, help you, like, create stuff, and yeah. No, if, if I saw a still moving around like this, I would probably be really freaked out. And not too happy about it. Anyway. I'm gonna try and load it, throw down brewery stuff. What's the, what's the efficiency of you right now? 101%. Alright. Yeah. Better in larger rooms. Makes sense. One louse infested orc crawled up from the depths and declared allegiance to the ultimate evil. The first step towards the creation of a powerful army had been taken. The dungeon of the expansion mad evil grew and prospered, but unfortunately, it had reached the maximum possible population it could currently manage. Now a creature would have to be thrown into the bottomless pit before any others could be brought in. At the exact moment in which the ultimate evil hired an orc, the spiders suddenly became aware of its presence and attacked the dungeon. This was an incredible hmm. coincidence, and was in no way connected with any triggers or scripts in the level map. The <laughs> abysmal evil used Cute. the Hand of Terror to grab several of the creatures that were still completely inexperienced at fighting, and threw them onto the spider's nest. Guess I sort of did that anyway. Let's grab, grab, grab. I can grab all of them? Alright. Bada boom! Toss the pile of orcs! Good luck, guys! Have fun! Don't die, please! Oh, there we go. Plenty of experience. Like flies. The strategically well-versed evil patted itself on the back, proud that it had led its troops into battle with such aplomb. And by led, I just simply mean chucking them at the enemy. The basics of a dungeon were now in place. However, the brewery was puny and didn't really have room to store beer barrels in, and the treasury was also anything but impressive in size. Quickly, the expansion hungry evil set out to enlarge its dungeon. Okay, build more treasuries. Expand your brewery. Alright, easy the enough. The evil has awoken, but its brothers are still asleep. Huh? What on earth was that? That's not in my script. What a weirdo. No matter. We'd better get back to concentrating on the dungeon. Oh. Why am I... Okay, there we go. We're no longer trying to brew things. That kind of works. Oh, toss somebody in the pit in the throne room to get rid of a unit. Alright. Actually... Let's get rid of one of the minions. Minion! A huge monstrosity loomed out of the darkness on six... No, eight legs. This dungeon's human guards had been ancient history for a long while. Now it was home to a huge spider and her brood. Would Sam and Frodo escape it and continue their journey to Mount Doom, or was this the end of the Ring Bearer? Hang on a minute, that's not the right text. Where were we? Oh yes, a huge spider, henceforth called the Spider Queen. It would be necessary to eliminate the Spider Queen before the Horde could reach the surface. The Spider Queen sent forth a wave of her children. Of course, the ultimate evil was fully aware of this danger and immediately prepared to defend itself against them. At least, that's what I heard. The creature disappeared into the pit of uselessness with a long drawn and gradually diminishing. This particular act of wickedness brought a smile to the face of the ultimate evil. That was, that was a pretty funny uh, Lord of the Rings re reference, I gotta say. Alright, so it wants me to expand the brewery for the time being, so let's let's keep expanding the brewery. Because apparently that's like a main objective. I don't even know how much of an objective it is. So is that is that enough expansion? Can I... Can I uh, am I going to have to build like enough room for a second still? Is that what we're looking for here? Can I move this? Can I like... Demolish... All right, let's demolish that. Let's try putting and in a second wave of spiders still. another set out to destroy the ultimate evil. All right, so they're coming, but that's no big deal. I can grab the orcs. There we go. Looks like we got a whole heck of a lot of... You guys just get in there. Have fun. Uh, let's see, what... Can I hire anybody else? I mean, I could probably hire another orc. Nope, not enough... Po oh, population units too. 
All right. Well, let's hire another little snot because I need. I don't want to hire anything else along the way. And next up is killing the spider queen. Oh, I've actually done the exp expansion I need. Good to know. All right. Where's my last orc? There you are. Anybody else? No. All right. Crab battle. Gonna take you away. Oh, that was fast. Oh nope. What are you guys doing? Well, he's horrified expression crossed the ultimate evil's face when it discovered that all the chickens from its chicken farm had been eaten. What were its creatures going to eat now? Wait a moment. I got a healing potion. Let's hide you for a second. So you're fine. I think we're fine. Can I? Oh, can I? Nope. Can't pick up healing the potions. The vile perversion, once called the Spider Queen, had nothing more with which she could fight the horde. Later, the sensitive evil would have her innards made into a lava lamp. The way to the surface was open. Now it was time to put those vengeance plans into practice. The vile evil wanted to take this opportunity to utter a really sinister laugh. But unfortunately, its physical state made this unviable. Instead, it asked the narrator to do a bit of sinister laughter on its behalf. Oh well, here goes. Deep breath. 